What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I'm going to take this Mox Emerald in this Vintage Cube Draft. Cool. Sounds good. Hmm. I oh, got Burgy. Burgy? Burgy? Nobody knows. I like Snapcaster Mage. I'm kind of tempted to force Storm here. <laughs> and that's unlike me. Both sides are great against with Storm, Thank right? you! Gimpy, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. I mean, recurring nightmare is fine. I don't know. It's really hard to build around. Snapcaster I do like a lot, though. All right, Matthew, we're going to do it. We're going to take this Burgy and assume that we can get some Storm components. Okay. And then we see a Gristle Brand and a Bitter Blossom, both good with recurring nightmare. Maybe we're not playing this. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, this pack does not lend itself to those things. So I think we're probably taking Gristle Brand. I don't know what's going on here. We got Burgey and Brand. Um, Gruel Signet's interesting because we have Mox Emerald and like it puts us in it puts us in Jun. It like, gives us a lot of good fixing for the Junsies. There's also a Teferi here, which I like. We're going to take the Gruel Signet. Okay, a Bayou. That's interesting. I don't think it's Ulamog. Packrat's nice. I think we're just going to take the fixing here. Shut up and take my money. And assume we're... Five Rhino Bucks. I don't even understand what that means. Do we take a Rhino? I want to take this Bayou. Ooh, Vorinclex is interesting here. Sorolf is interesting here. Huh. Rent a rhino. Got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> to rent that rhino. Oh, dear. I have no idea. I... Frantic search is fine, but... I mean, we just took Bayou and Girl Signet. I don't really feel like we're storming here. I know it's going to break your heart, but... Whatever, I'll take it for you, Matthew, because I can't think of anything else that we're doing. Look, we get a tendrils. Everybody wins. Look, Vampiric Tutor, it's all happening. It's all coming together now. It's all happening. Thassa's Oracle is interesting. I don't think we're going to be winning with Thassa's Oracle. I don't think we... I guess we could Gristle Brand up until we get to Thassa's Oracle. Could also take Gush. I don't love Gush. I, I find myself never playing Gush. I'm gonna take Oracle. We'll see what happens. Hmm. Maybe it's just Dryad. Dryad actually fixes our mana pretty decently. It also turns all our lands into islands for like a high tide, and we have a good amount of fixing for it. That could be interesting. Murder Shrider and Bitter Blossom both came back. That's pretty impressive. Um, hmm.
I mean, I love playing decks. The problem is I don't love getting mana screwed, so. <laughs> um, none of these are none of these are great. I'm going to take Tassiger. Take Ulamog. Take Sorolf. Take Nib. Yeah, all right. I mean, this was not the best. Like, it's like, it's, it's nice because we got some key components like Tendrils, Frantic Search, Vampiric Tutor, but this is not the best, uh, Okay, Cabal Ritual, Time Twister, Dak Faden. Boy, oh boy. It's gotta be Twister, right? I mean, my face lights up like that when we have cool plays in, 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 in when we're playing the deck too. It just happens less frequently because there's less times for those to happen. I'm going to take the deck. I mean, we can get like Wheel of Fortune. We can get Time Twister. I mean, deck's also plus like it's 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 not draw seven, but it's still drawing two or three. Like, I mean, it's never drawing three, but it's like, I mean, like you can activate this multiple times. Plus you're stealing their card. Like being able to steal early artifacts is, is pretty bananas. Mana Morphos. That's what we're looking for here. Yeah, seems good. Ooh, Demonic Tutor and Treachery in the same pack. I mean, I don't know. I love a demonic tutor, but treachery is very, very good, especially if we have like a high tide. All right, if we're taking some white cards, even things out, I'll take Showdown of the Skulls or Teferi Time Raveler. I think Dak is just a fine storm card. Like, it's not like you're, I mean, drawing two and discarding two. Like the 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 selection you get from Dak is also just fine. We already have Vampiric. I'm gonna take Treachery here. Oh, a turnabout? I do like a turnabout. Uh, I don't love Past in Flames here. I don't love... I Like, Past in Flames and Wishclaw Talisman are two of my least favorite Storm cards. I think Mystical Tutor's fine, but we already have Vampiric Tutor. This does fine stuff. Yeah, I'll take the Mystical. I think it's better than Wishclaw here, and I don't care about Past and Flames. We have no rituals yet, I was going to say, but then we have Pyretic Ritual. Probably better than Chart, of course, I would say, because we have we, need, we just need to start taking some rituals. Valky's interesting. I mean, we're taking Lotus Bloom, but... Oh, Brain Freeze? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I mean, this deck just really needs a high tide. <laughs> oh. Uh, I don't think LED. I don't think LED is a super high pick unless we're unless we already have Yogmoss bargain, Yogmoss will rather. If it wheels, that'd be sweet. I, I would not be surprised if it did, especially because we got like really late tendrils. And there's no deck that wants. Okay. I mean, there was also a Cabal Ritual in that pack, which is unfortunate, but... I mean, Yogg Moss Well is like 280 ish. Uh, Force of Negation seems fine. Sounds like you're stirring mac and cheese. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why is why is Mastermind's acquisition still in here? Like I really don't understand that. Oh, 
Fumarole is actually a nice pickup. I don't understand that inclusion in this in this in this cube. Like, are people really wanting four mana tutors when they have so many other options? Sure, I'll take this past in flames. We took the Rakdos' return because if we make infinite mana somehow, it is a legit win condition. <sighs> See, this pack's really interesting. Bribery is good. I don't think we're cryptic commanding. I don't think we're through the breaching. Thran Dynamo is decent. I mean, I, I kind of like just like bribery because like if we don't have... um. I mean, Jace is also just very good for us. Flipping Jace and then recasting like a tutor or a, like a time twister or like a ritual or something is fantastic. The problem is bribery can just win on its own sometimes. And I, yeah, like, I mean, I just like this as a, as a backup plan. I think Jace is the most efficient card for Storm. I think bribery is the most efficient card for a blue deck. And I think we're just going to have to take bribery here. Oh, dark ritual. Our mana seems really terrible, so that's that's a bummer. Are we a Rafellos deck? He said jokingly. I mean, thirst is fine. I'm really concerned about my three drops, and we have like no art. We have like two artifacts in our whole in our whole deck. Three. I and mean, I'm kind of just I'm I'm kind of just on the abrade, really. Man, no no high tide's kind of rough. Um. Yeah, we could just take Lotus Petal here. I mean, Memory Jar is also pretty decent. We don't have a ton of rituals. We just have Pyretic and Dark Ritual right now, so I'm not actually sure which is looking better. I feel like it's Lotus Petal. It lets us storm. Oh, Palancron. Also, Baral. Actually, Baral seems better than Palancron here. Man, are we really not going to see a high tide? I kind of like Leovold here. Yeah, let's just take Leovold. Oh, okay. Time Spiral, though. I mean, sure, we'll take Time Spiral, especially because we just took Leovold. Sure. Okay, so we're not seeing you boy. Shut up and take That's my unfortunate. Money. Here we go again. Sneak attack through the breach. One is fine. Two is better. Have fun and don't look back. Unforgiven. I, <laughs> I appreciate you, buddy. I'll take Rifflin Cladscape. I don't think we're casting Gristlebrand in any, any reasonable way. Jace Vryn's Prodigy comes back. That's pretty cool. I also I really like Creeping Tarpet, though. I'm going to take the Jace here. I think our mana is just... I'm just committed to our mana being terrible. Heartbeat of Spring. Interesting. The Heartbeat of Spring was in that pack. That's pretty interesting. Let's take Force of Negation out. Let's take this Styles in your storm for Kerwin. Look how late this Rafelos is going, man. People got no respect. Memory Jar comes back. Okie dokie. I'm going to take Oracle out. I don't think we're Oracling here.
Back to work and good luck. Hopefully it won't be way too long. Unforgiven. Have a good afternoon, buddy. Really appreciate the support, my dude. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Yeah, that was definitely a hoof and a Rafelos, and now we have Woodfall Primus. Control magic, not even terrible. Jeez. We have Time Spiral and Time Twister and Leovold. I mean, that's pretty decent. What was the other earring song you were singing the other day, buddy? Your guess is as good as mine. We need two cuts. I can see cutting Braid and maybe Mystical. I don't think Mystical is as good. We have Vampiric. And this is actually 23 plus we get to play all of our lands. Let me just make sure I note this stipulation that is now in the Cusels. Okay. Um, I don't think this is an Oath deck. Maybe, I mean, I really don't. <sighs> you know what? I don't hate it. <laughs> I really don't hate it. Oh my god. <sighs> I was like, this is just going to be a link to Mystical. And it was. Okay, so... God, there's a lot of basics here. Sort by color. Thankfully, our red and our green are not super represented. I like seven here. That's probably correct. Seven, eight. Uh, two black. Three black. Uh, four red. This is four, five, six. Cut one of those. Add another green. One, two, three, four, five. This seems okay. Six, seven, nine, ten, twelve, three, fourteen. This is six, seven, eight, if we count Lotus Petal. Three, four, five, if we count Lotus Petal. Three, four, five, six, if we count Lotus Petal. And then two. Three, four, five, six, if we can't let us. It's like, it's like eight, six, 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 or something like that. What if we cut <laughs> things like, if we hit Burgy off of, is it put into play or you cast it? Oh, they just put it on the battlefield. Oh, what up, Dan's? I think siding into like Gristlebrand, Woodfall Primus, Oath of Druids is pretty decent. All right, let's see what happens here. That thass though, uh, back that thass up. Yeah, we could like yeah we could bring in uh, thassa woodfall and gristle brand and leovold. I guess we can keep leovold in here.
A minute and 33 seconds? That was rough. Imagine if you had Masteron's acquisition, you could sideboard mid game. Oh, yeah, that's what we're waiting for. Wait, we do have Mastermind's acquisition. I'm still not doing that. What am I, a maniac? This is a long time. Okay, we're in it. This deck is wild, and I have no idea what's going to happen. I got the mox in here, right? Okay, good. Our sideboard's wild. There's so many good cards. So, I'm going to keep this. Turn two Rifty into Jace. Yeah, the fact that Thousand Year Storm costs six mana makes it very, very hard. That's what she said. I like our odds against a turn one student. Oh god, they're going to play a Thalia here. Oh, they're going to play Porcelain Legionnaire. Okay, there's a lot of there's a lot of power. There's a lot of pressure they're putting on here. Hmm. Okay, we have to survive. Let's play a Jace. We'll take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine million damage this turn. Um, we're kind of looking to go land. Ritual for the fifth mana. Frantic search untap. I don't know. Treachery something untap. Wait, we got an Ulmog? Oh my god, we have Ulmog, Woodfall, and Gristlebrand? Oh wow, this could actually be a legit oath deck, guys. Well, I'll definitely block here. Wow, this actually feels like the closest thing I've ever come to an Oath deck. So we kind of have to do something here, right? Okay, that's not what we're looking for. I guess we can Frantic Search first because maybe we get to flip this? I don't think so, right? This is one card, two cards, three cards. This would be four cards. But if we hit a land... Yeah, let's do this first. That's what we're looking for. Okay. So we can get rid of... Actually, do we play the Brawl? We play the Brawl. This costs one, nets us three. Four, five, four. Oh, actually, yes. We're keeping the Brawl. We're going to get rid of Leovold. Actually, maybe we play Treachery this turn, huh? It's definitely Leovold. And probably Bribery here. One, two, three... Play the land. One, two for Brawl. One, two, three. Manamorphose. Treachery. Okay, let's try this. Ritually. So let's get another blue, another black, blue, or just double blue here is fine. What are we going to steal? Probably this guy because he's untapped and that can keep us alive. Let's 
it's only four, sure. That's what we got. Let's draw a card. Discard that. Cast an instant or sorcery. Let's cast the bribery. Oh, I guess we don't even need that, right? Because <laughs> of Brawl, sure. Um, no Aleshnorn. We do get to see their whole deck. Skyclave Apparition getting rid of, like, Porcelain Legionnaire seems pretty decent. The deck actually seems really good. <laughs> Mana Crypt, Time Walk, Fractured Identity. We'll get rid of their flying creature. That was a hell of a turn. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you can you can just toss an Alesh in there if you have enough mana, like Mana Crypt, Mox, etc. But it's it's not super common. I mean, the alternative is Frantic Search, and we only have, like, Lotus Petal in hand that we actually want to get rid of. Although I would be curious what our next two draws are, because if it's, like, ten draws, it actually would have been probably game-winning. Does anybody know what our storm count was at? We played Frantic Search, one, two, three, four, five, six... The second frantic search would have been seven. So, like, yeah, if we hit tendrils, it would have been eight. Oh, we also have bribery, so that's nine. That would have that would have been lethal. So tendrils would have had to be like one of the top two cards. Because Brain Freeze for 9 would have been uh, 27. Oh, that would have been... Well, they drew a card for this turn, so they would have had the one last turn. So... I don't know. There's definitely options. But again, they would have had to be the top two cards. And if we had, like, Vampiric Tutor on the top, we still don't have a way to go draw the, a card after Vampiric Tutor. So... Yep. That's fine. Right, exactly. We get to keep one card in hand for uh, for Frantic Search. So, If they're just going to use their whole turn to pump that guy, that is totally fine. Because that means you're not doing anything else. It's actually pretty good for us. Oh, and this guy... I totally forgot this guy comes down this turn. Jeez. I also forgot about this. That's hilarious. Wow. Nice little bonus. Bounce this guy. Now who is the aggro deck? Oh, boy. Yep, you got it. I mean, next turn we can, like, Frantic Search again, or we can just Manamorphose. I mean, the thing is, if they didn't have a 4-drop last turn, I guess they could draw Banishing Light for Treachery. That would be pretty good. They could also draw Swords to Plowshares or Time Walk. Okay, does not look like they did that. Okay, they're still going. They're going all in on the Student Warfare plan. 
It's gonna be a burgy. Okay, that was weird. Not sure how I did that. I mean, it was a 1 in 24 chance, which is super weird. It's like, what, 4%? So this guy, if they pump it up, they have to spend seven mana. Yeah, we're just going to attack here. Play the horn. We played it, buddy. Take it easy. Take it easy, man. No, I mean, play the horn. Well, now I'm regretting attacking with my single flyer, so that's unfortunate. I guess I did not predict the Elspeth Knight Arant being drawn. Oh, they're just going face here. Oh, boy. Uh, sure. That was fascinating. The problem is card quantity. <laughs> um, we could play this. No, we can't even play this. We could play it off Lotus Petal and then have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. And then we can play like Mana Morphos to draw a card. It's not exciting, though, is a problem. We could also just discard this. We could also frantic search, try to find something. I mean, the funny thing is both Manamorphos and frantic search net us one card. Discarding this nets us two cards. I think we're just discarding this. Okay, that worked out well. One, two, three. Green. This thing play Dak. Steal this guy. Plus on this guy. So if we alpha at Elspeth, they block three and two. They take one, two, three, four. She goes to one. Doesn't kill her, though. If we attack your face, you go to seven at least. You still block here, block here. You take one, two, three, four. Yeah. We're just attacking with this guy for now. So here's the problem. If they kill our Riftwing Cloudscape with like Swords to Plowshares and then they float on over, it's pretty bad. 
And by pretty bad, I mean we're dead. <laughs> so I guess we'll see if we can not die. I mean, their options are Banishing Light and Swords to Plowshares. Those are the two cards they could draw that do it for them. Or Time Walk. So they have three cards. Okay. Well, this is lethal if we don't block. So let's block. I mean, we're tapped out with no cards, so if they're slow rolling like a time walk, it's kind of sad. Doesn't look like it. Oh, unless they're playing this and then time walk. Nope, that's not it. All right. Well, we're not dead yet. Yes, you can only level at sorcery speed. Otherwise, it would be pretty busted. Okay. Between Dak, Jace, and Horn, I feel like we have a lot of selection here. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, that'll do, pig. That will do. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, Time Spiral's got to be just better here, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, Time Spiral. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That was not the best hit, but it doesn't matter because we have Horn. So I can't even imagine a situation uh, where we don't come out of this way, way ahead. Uh, discard this. Heartbeat of Spring and Lotus Petal. Cast Lotus Petal. Yeah, this is just game, right? This is insane. Uh, turnabout. One, two, three, four, five. Red Source. Uh, can we just tap their creatures down? And kill them? Yes, but it's so much less elegant. Uh, creatures tap. Eh, God. Let's just do it, I guess. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, what would we have hit eventually? Riftwing into this with our next card. Next card would have been those two. Next card we would have hit tendrils, so. Wow, that's pretty sweet. Let's take out Bribery. I'm going to take out Jace. Take out Burgy. Take out Dryad and Heartbeat. All, those, all the green cards. Bring in Ulamog, Woodfall, Gristle, and Oath. Bring another control magic. So how many creatures? We have six creatures still. Um, Baral and Leovold are the bad ones. Oh, I guess we have Riftwing Cloudskate too. Is Riftwing Cloudskate good? I mean, I feel like a braid is actually probably better than Riftwing Cloudskate here, especially if we're trying to Oath of Druids. Yeah, all right. 
Let's do it. They could they have fracturing identity and swords in their deck though. But that's it, I guess. I guess those and banishing light. Can we turn one oath here? Turn 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 one oath off of Mox or Lotus Petal? That'd be cool. Come back from perfect dinner and somehow there's a Leovold. Somehow this makes sense. It's something, all right. Actually, Sorolf seems really good in this matchup, right? Like, um, you know what? No blue, but this seems good. We have lands enough to play, and Lotus Bloom should keep us afloat. Okay, well, never mind. Now we got a blue. Yeah, I think Sorolf is great. Carry on my wayward wolf. There be wolves when you are gone. That doesn't make any sense at all. Why would you... There be wolves when you are gone? What does that even mean? Brain freeze. Barry. Okay. So. Zimnipod, have a good night, buddy. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you, my dude. Uh, I will not block and throw away my brawl. Much as you would like me to, I bet. Okay, that's that's frustrating. Oof, drawing that's not great, but we do have a Dak Faden, so that's okay, I guess. Um, we can't cast anything here though. Next turn though, guys. I did not see did I see Vrin Wingmare in their deck? No, I didn't. That's weird. Did they board it in? <sighs> uh, still no blocks. Okay, sure, my dude. Keep taking five, I guess. So this Lotus Bloom is going to cost us one, which leaves us with five mana. Dak Faden costs four. Okay. Come on down. Send them on down to Rat Train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the Rat Train? <laughs> <laughs> it's still amazing. Draw for the turn. What's this gonna be? What's all this? What's this now? What's this in? Um. Let's 
So three, four, five, actually three, four for turnabout. Would untap all our lands. It still nets us a land. You know what? Sure. One, two, three. Does it? Am I right? Yeah, because we play it for four, it untaps our lands. Huh. Funny. Ah, funny. So we can brain freeze them for 12. That's kind of cool. Yeah, we're just going to scoop here. Like, we get one extra turn. We get to play this, control magic, one of their guys. We can't even do that, actually. Yeah, Vern Wingmare is kind of rough. We really just want to hit Oath of Druids, but we know they have Disenchant now, so it's awkward, but... Still not impossible. I believe in our deck. I kind of want to mulligan this just to try to... This doesn't do anything, and I kind of want to try Oath. Well, this is not better, but we do have Frantic Search. So... And we can easily discard Woodfall Primus. So I'm down with that. I'm down to Clown. We can also just top deck an Oath, right? Like, that's an option as well. Hmm, that is interesting. I'm tempted to frantic search here. Discard Woodfall Primus, try to hit Oath, and then we can play the Oath. I think we're going to go for it. Now we can't do it. I'm stupid. I'm a big dumb idiot. We needed the green source to untap the green source. Well, if Oath is in our top two cards, I'll feel silly. If not, I'm not going to worry about it. Storm is hard, guys. That's totally fine. Doesn't do much here. <sighs> Vampiric Tutor with no black source is kind of awkward. Plus, we don't know when we're getting a black source. I'd much rather hit my land drops and keep turnabout. Watch, we're going to draw by you. You guys ready? Okay. Red source, not in, not exactly a bayou, but still a color I'm fine with seeing. I, I think we're just I think we're just dead here. We're just not drawing enough. I guess we could hit like time twister or time spiral here. Okay, well that's pretty good. Yep, getting two swings out of this guy is pretty decent. Well, Tendrils is probably not on the menu anymore when they're at 32 life. I mean, theoretically, we could have turned about them on their upkeep. I'm not sure if that would have been great. <sighs> Fuck my life. Okay, there was a black source. Cool. Yep, that was fun. 
I think our I think our first version of the deck is better than our second version of the deck. The second version relies on Oath. <laughs> the first version doesn't care about Oath. What kind of drink refill did you get from the bathroom? Buddy, I'll never tell. Thank you. Oh, the antibody. Thank you for the reset. This literally came out like two minutes ago. Never had that happen before. Well, you know what, buddy? Sometimes it happens. Oh, this is a hand. This is a turn two Jace. Maybe a turn one, Jace. If we had a land that's not a... A Fumarale. Oh man, Leovold into Time Spiral. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. Sword of Body Mind in turn one. Winter Orb is, is cool. Oh, boy. Oh, good. They get to attack with their Phyrexian Revoker. How nice. I mean, our Jace triggers now, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so what can we hit here? Dark Ritual? That's fascinating. What does that do for us? We have one, two, three mana. We can easily just play Leovold. Thank you! Pernicious dude with the resub. What up, my buddy? Welcome back, man. Really appreciate it. Um, hmm. Well... We're definitely playing a land here. We cannot activate Lotus Bloom, right? <laughs> Can't get back Dak Faden, unfortunately. What we can do is go Manamorphose. We can go Dark Ritual. It's one, two, three, four, five. Turnabout nets us nothing. <laughs> it's actually pretty tricky. <laughs> Not a huge fan of the situation we're in right now. Winter Orb is a real piece of junk. Can't target the Phyrexian Revoker. I feel like we just play Leovold here. Have you tried winning instead of losing? It's a good idea. If only I was that smart. Okay, you got it. All right, 10 more cards in the bin. Cannot block either of these dudes. Oh, there's a Tendrils. 
Let's draw Heartbeat of Spring. What's our play here? That's gotta be this one, right? Well, at least we can cast this. That's that's good, right? Gotta be good. So what's our plan? We have a brainstorm. Oh, we didn't even draw yet. Let's draw. Oh, they have zero cards in hand. <laughs> so they actually get a freebie. <laughs> That's not as good as you'd think it would be. Okie dokie. Well, eight cards left in our library. They could not have hit the braid, huh? So we got a 13, 12.5% chance of hitting an abraid. To kill this guy. So what do we do? Ritual? We got a ritual here, right? Dark ritual nets us one more mana, but we don't have black for it. So what can you do? Cast an instant or sorcery spell. Pyretic ritual. Net us that mana. Mana morphos. We get a blue... And a black, I guess. Frantic search. Hmm. Huh. Still didn't hit it, huh? Okay. Discard two cards. Thank you. Let's get rid of turnabout. And time spiral, because we're never gonna have the mana for that. Actually it's gonna be it's gotta be land, right? Does it matter? I don't think so. I don't know if this does anything to be quite honest with you. We can twist her here, but then we don't have the mana to do anything. And they draw they draw one. And we go back up to seven. Dreadmelon, thank you for the re for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Um. Okay, so it does put us back to life, though. Is the thing. Thank you. But they still have they still have Winter Orb in play. Um. <laughs> I think we just have the time twister here. Like we can brainstorm for five, which is 15 cards and that does nothing. Whereas next turn, this hand's actually pretty decent. So seems okay. Oh, uh, we did not have six mana at a time spiral. Guys, you know we can't crack Lotus because they have Frex Intervoker naming Lotus, right? Like. Just wanna wanna make sure you guys understand that we don't have a Lotus Bloom. Okay, that actually could be pretty good. So we got one, two, three, four. Oh, actually this is worse because of, oh God, this is frustrating. Okay, so this guy does let us play two lands though. Untap black. It seems more important. Okay. 
Okay. Everybody's got the big brain plays until they realize that they're they didn't read the cards on the board. Uh, one, two. We're gonna have three mana. We can go dryad. It's got to be ritual into one. I mean, this is our turn, right? This is all we got. Three, four. Dryad, we can play a second land. We can go Minamorphose. Uh, I don't expect you to read the tiny-ass little reminder text on Revoker. I do expect you to see if there's a Revoker on board and then wonder what the card might be that they named. <laughs> that seems like... A, the, that, the second one seems like a reasonable thing to do rather than the first one, which is... So this is three, four. I mean, if we go Signet, then we only have three mana to work with, and that doesn't do anything. I think we're definitely metamorphosing here because that's free. Oh, actually, do we tutor? Do we tutor metamorphose? What do we get with three mana? A braid. Hmm, that's interesting. A braid is not in here. A braid is in the sideboard. I'm a dum dum. <sighs> Did I not have a braid in the main deck? What? Did I switch it? <sighs> That's frustrating. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's game. All right. Well, that'll do, pig. Well, a braid's definitely coming in now. Frantic was in our graveyard. Okay, Jeffrey. Hmm. I kind of like packed here as well, to be honest. It's got a heartbeat of spring. Take out treachery, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah, we can keep this. Uh, we have no natural way to cast the Woodfall Primus now. Uh, we're not getting to eight mana against the Winter Orb deck. Unfortunate. But I'm undeterred. Any land next turn, we get to play Dryad and Wandering Fumeral, which is pretty sweet. Sure. I like it.
Bribery next turn is nice. Wow, two people made the undeterred joke. Jesus. Oh, man. It's wild. What a time to be alive. They didn't do anything here. Interesting. I mean, we're going to attack here and see what happens. <sighs> feel bad about this. Although if they spell pierce, we can metamorphose. Yep, that's worse. Could have just waited for them to just tap out for something. But that does not look like it's going to happen, so. One, two, three. I mean, they're mono blue right now. They actually can't repeal anything. All right, they're at nine. Should have done it last turn, put them to five and make them sit there with a stupid... All right. <laughs> Good game. Man, I do like a a bribery against the, the artifact deck. I'm sure they have like an Inkwell Leviathan or some kind of bullshit in there. Mulliganing this hand. Keeping this hand. I think we're just putting back tendrils here. It's not a card we want in our opener. Whereas Dark Ritual actually has every game with this guy, huh? Okay. Hmm. Wow. Okie dokie. So if we go Bayou, we go Dark Ritual for three, then we have four. Frantic Search, we have one untapped. We untap our two lands, we play Leovold. I think that's correct. I think we can get rid of Ritual and Swamp here. Untap our blue. Braid. Um, make it a 2-2 two -two and they make it a 3-3. Three -three. Yeah, we're not doing that. Mama's little baby love shortening, shortening. Let's untap the red in case we draw a brade. Are they going to bounce this? Sure. Oh, sweet. They're targeting our red. Let's draw with Leovold. Let's draw with Jace too. Let's card a swamp. <laughs> I guess we should have attacked there. Mm 
Yep. You're going to face, but you can't draw a card. So that's good. Oh, you're milling us. Never mind, I'm a dumb dumb. Hey, the abrade's in the trash can now. We can get rid of Winter Orb, actually. I'm gonna be honest, I think the I think we actually let's abrade the winter orb. No, we'll abrade the sword and then we'll abrade the orb. Sword into orb. Suspend. Oh, we can only do one thing, I guess. <laughs> That's too bad. For some reason, I was like, oh, we can just, we can cast it and then we can. Hmm. I really do think sword is probably a bigger threat to us. Yep, that's pretty good. Solid draw. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's really annoying. Top decking a Phyrexian Metamorph when we have Leovold on board is probably going to be the end of the game. Man, 1-2 in our first two drafts is pretty fucking miserable. I mean, that also presumes we win the next round, so, you know, X-2 in our first two drafts. No attack, huh? tutor for anything? What does three mana get us? I don't think we have another way to deal with an artifact, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna... Well, this actually gets around Leovold. That's interesting. Thank you. Oh, an anonymous gifter with five gifted subs. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know who you are, Anonymous Gifter, but I appreciate you. So we give them an extra card. Thank you. Or we lose Jace. Just give them an extra card, I guess. Thank you. Not much we can really do about it. How mysterious. Thank you. Cassius, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. I did not mention it because I totally was, I think I was totally into the into the game at the time, but 
Really appreciate the resub, my dude. So mysterious. Man, I wish my opponent would target my things with spells. Oh, Mark, thank you for the resub, buddy. I appreciate you, man. So we each draw one? You draw none, actually, because you drew for the turn already. Okie dokie. <laughs> That's kind of weird, but all right. Untap one land. Sure. One, two, three, and four, and four. Okie dokie. Hey, do I get my lotus petal here? Lotus bloom? My lotus? Hey, it's a metamorphose. Thank you. There you go. You can draw a card or whatever, whatever you want to do. Crash Maxwell, thank you for the sub. Really appreciate it. 28 months, man. Weird Felks. Thank you. Antibody gifted gifted sub to anonymous gifter. What a what a shock. What a what a situation this game has turned into. I hope they tap the winter orb. It'd be great to have a whole turn to do nothing with. <laughs> Trading, bro? No? Okay. Oh, I'm gonna do one, two, three. Okie dokie. Oh, it's gonna be another land. Oh, it was another land. Did you see it? This game is actually the worst. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Sorry. I usually I turn. This time it was too fast. I'm just going to have six here. I have nothing to do. Mama's little baby loves shortening and bread. There are exclusive high chew flavors of 7 Blue Red, Raspberry, and Black. Whoa, those sound amazing. Black cherry sounds incredible. I love black cherry everything, so. Black cherry high chew. That's a chef's kiss. Really? Snap it off. Was it two now? One. A two. Okay. Keep playing lands, I guess. Keep keep making this guy 
undo anything a bull with. Sure. What do you got? Five cards in hand? Sure, man. I mean, raspberry high chews also sound pretty good, to be honest. So do blueberry, man. Those all sound banging. I'm going to 7-Eleven after this. You got it. Mama's little baby loves shortening bread. You got it. Untap one more land. Mm, tangle nothing. Is this our moment? What are the odds they have counterspell, huh? 100%? 200%? 300% you guys think? Wow. That's crazy. Oh, look, they fucking had it. Amazing. Wow, congratulations. You're so good at this game. You played a Winter Orb and a Tangle Wire. And you countered relevant spells in both games. That's amazing. Well, maybe we can go 1-2 again, guys. Maybe we can live that 1-2 dream. We don't have the. Let's put the abrade in the main deck, right? Like, that just seems like a good choice. I'm leaving it out. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care.
Uh, snap it off. This actually could be good. Burgy early is better than, uh, is Burgy is better early and Horn is better late is what I think. One, two does get part of my injury fee back. You ain't wrong, buddy. Good luck, have fun, you too. Although, judging from my record so far, I will not be having much fun. Mm, cool. I'm going to have some fun. Cool. Don't say good luck, have fun to someone on your fucking channel and out on turn two. I mean, I, I totally accept that this is a thing that happens in the queue, but like, I don't know, man. Maybe don't fucking. And there's nothing we can get with Tudor, I assume. <laughs> oh, boy. That's amazing. Well, their turn started at 548, and they set it at 547, so they definitely didn't draw it. We also can't tutor during upkeep, we don't have a black source in place, so. So there's nothing we can do here, right? We can play horn, discard a bunch of bullshit. Have one floating. Discard tutor. And yeah, none of those things do anything. I mean, one, two, three, four, five. We have six mana. There's nothing we can do. Like, this is actually bullshit. Boy, this is a fucking sweet draft. <laughs> Oh, man. Good times. We can make six mana. We can Burgy. We can Vampiric Tutor put something on top. I don't think it... Like, we just have no lands. Like, we can't cast anything for free, so... They discarded Mirror Battlesphere instead of casting Mirror Battlesphere. I guess that's fine. You don't know what we're playing. We have our red mana. I mean, how are we going to... I don't know how we're not going to die for two turns. Like, plus we're going to have no permanence. Like, they have seven cards in hand. I don't... I mean, that seems extremely ambitious. There's six total mana between these three. Like, I guess we can go to 26, take two hits off Kozilek, lose every permanent on board, and then hope that our Riftwing Cloudscape by itself does the job. Oh, boy. Yep, that's pretty bad. How are we going to, how are we going to tendrils for eight if Rift comes in? You understand that Kozlik has Annihilator, right? And it's going to kill all our permanents. I mean, we tendrils for eight only if we actually play Vampiric Tutor for something, but like that's, but we're losing two to Vampiric Tutor, so we're only gaining six life. At no point are we gaining eight life. They're at ten. We have tendrils. Is there a way we can do this? My God. I feel like it's so close. Can we play a Lotus Bloom off of a off of a off of a horn? Oh, 
I gotta look something up. Hold on. Thinking. I'm just gonna let him know. What is it called? Horn Harnfell. Harnfell Lotus Bloom. What does it say? Player cast. You okay, play those cards this turn. Uh, Lotus Petal still in the deck. We could Vampire for Lotus Petal. Dark Ritual, Vampiric Tutor. Play Horn, play Lotus Petal. But then we're done. That's it. Like, this is going to cost five of our mana. I'm trying to figure out if I can play Lotus Bloom or Ancestral, like something like Ancestral Vision off of Harnfell. You cannot? Are you sure? I mean, because you can play it off of like Electromancy. This is really, I mean, like, this makes all the difference in the world, I think. Because I can go get it. I can literally make six mana, play Tutor, play Burgie. Oh, I know I'd have to discard this anyway. I do not have a screenshot of the deck list, no. Um, six, three... This is all we can do. <laughs> I mean, like, what can you do? So, Dark Ritual. We don't have a way to draw Manamorphos. Like, we don't have a way to draw these cards. Like, these cards go to the top of the library. We have no way to draw them. Storm for four. This is going to be hilarious if we just win. I like that you're asking me which four permanents to sacrifice. That's very, very polite of you. 16. Okie dokie. I mean, they're setting up for the Thrag Tusk. I think if they had Thrag Tusk, they would have chat. Nah, they didn't have enough. <laughs> Okie dokie. Harnfell, no mana cost, no mana cost. Bounce that. Do they have the black removal spell? That is the question. Oh God, we might have missed lethal. We could have vampiric for free. Yep, we missed lethal. See, that's the trick right there. I knew there was a way. We just didn't find it because we dumb. Hmm. 
Whoa, Riftwing Cloud Skate still gets there? Oh man, dude. Oh man. It doesn't matter if Tutor puts the card on top. We're not looking for the card. We just want the extra storm count to tendrils them for lethal. This would have been a free spell. It turned one black into one red. We dark ritualed with Bergy, which gave us black, 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 red. We play Vampiric Tutor for any relevant card. We then have black, black, red, red, and we tendrils for lethal. We literally had lethal. God. I can't believe we won that, but like... I, I kind of wish we, we went it the other way because I'm sure I'm sure everyone in chat is going to be yelling at us on YouTube. So that's unfortunate, but... I think we're bringing in Force of Negation here. Wow, that was bribery, treachery. We'll bring in Control Magic as well. Oh my god, dude. I can't believe Riffling Cloudscape. I figured they had a black removal spell. Like a heartless act or something. Maybe take out Heartbeat. Let's take out Heartbeat. I don't want them to have... And we got, I think we can do 41. We have 16 lands and 3 mana sources. I'm going to keep because of Cloud Skate on the draw and Frantic Search. And if we hit any green, this gives us all of our colors. So. Are you winning, son? What is this meme you guys keep doing? Oh my god. It's fantastic. I don't know why the Are You Winning, Son meme has become so prevalent in this chat. Come on, red source. Come on, red or green source. Yeah, that's fine. Obnoxious, but fine. Oh. <laughs> okay, so they don't have any artifacts for us, but we're just going to play Bird Gino. Next turn we have Frantic Search, it's a free mana, so we'll have one, two, three, four, five mana. It's pretty good. Oh dear. Are you ready yet? No? Okay. Another red source, huh? Well, okie dokie. Oof. All right, so what do we got here? One, two, three. So next turn we can probably do this? I don't think so, maybe. I think we need one more one more mana. No, we need two. We need, definitely need two more mana. Well, we're going to get rid of Dryad. Probably Mountain, because she's making a good deal of... So we have four mana right now? We actually have five mana. Do I even want to play deck? It just dies to Questing Beast. That seems bad. Leovold would be great if we had a one green source. I kind of almost want to play deck just to see if we can hit something decent. Always yield to that. Oh, is he gonna do that? Because if what if we get a mox emerald? Ooh, a treachery is nice. Um, hmm. Well, one, two, three mana. Not enough to do anything. I think we're getting rid of Lotus Bloom and Island here. Lotus Bloom seems a little ambitious. Yep. All right. Well. If we hit a land next turn, 
We probably should have discarded Leovold, played Treachery in a Time Spiral. That would have been the play. See, we're just... I, I feel like I'm a little rusty right now, and it's my fault. Well, okie dokie. I am tempted to block, but I think having six. If we hit a land, it's very, very good. Yeah, I'm just going to take it. The question is whether the mana is better from Bergy or the cards are better from Dak, and I think mana is a little better here. Oh, this is even better because this is a free mana that doesn't actually leave. Oh, that's very good. Yep, okay, so now we're going to treachery... Oh, we probably should have just taken that. Yep, see, these are, these are the kind of mistakes I'm, uh, I'm making here. And they're not great. <laughs> oh, boy. Should have taken Questing Beast. Yep, that would have been good. Oh, but it's actually in their hand. So we can actually just get rid of it forever. No, we're missing one mana. I guess we could time twister here. One, two, three, four. Okay, this could be very good. Black, green, Manamorphose. Oh yeah, we're doing it now. Um, Uh, let's turn about ourselves. One, two, three, four. Uh, lands, untap them. Uh, what is this, six, a so 12? We're just gonna play, we have one, two, we can go Jace for one. This is what it's like to crush the opponent. Uh, one, two, this nets us a free red again. Can also just activate here. It doesn't matter, green, fumarole, tendrils you, black. The last round is always the one that shows exactly how the deck should be played. Okay, yes, yes. Can I not? I can't. <laughs> okay. And four. An attack for five. Ooh. So we did nail the one two. And we did get a little salty at our opponent going, good luck, have fun, and then channeling into Kozlek. But that's the nature of the cube. Uh, what can you do? Thank you guys for watching. Unfortunately, this didn't go better, but I think it was still a sweet deck, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.